Hey guys. Um look. Life has an unu initiative force. It's an unleashing force that you don't know what's gonna happen next. You don't know what the future is gonna hold. You don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm unpredictable. I'm a little bit strange, a little bit medic, like a little kid caught stealing. You don't know what I'm gonna do. Like a little cat battered up and bruised in a cage. Okay. I know I've made mistakes, but that doesn't mean I'm a fucked up individual. I mean, I'm crazy in a good way. But I've made some mistakes. I've made some bad choices. It doesn't make me a bad person. It makes me a good person. It's from to learn from those mistakes. I'm learning the hard way through my experiences. So it makes me a stronger person. You know, only the strongest will survive. When tough decisions come... That's when you use your superpowers. Engage. Unite. Boom. Anyways, I'm tired. Um, I just want to get this out of here. All of these people that are going around saying shit about me in Forsyth County. Yes, age does not matter, but to an extent. I've known, I know that I've done some really weird ass shit, but I've been trying to get over my ex, and I haven't been myself, and I'm finally over her, which is Anya, by the way. She told me to go kill myself. I'm not bashing her. I'm just being honest. Told me to go kill myself when I'm in the mix of doing it. it. Used to be suicidal. I've got issues. So does everybody else. Some people just don't want to admit they're wrong. And they're being hypocrites. And they're being stupid. So of course they're going to go around and make other people feel like shit. And bash others. See I don't do that. I don't talk shit behind people's backs. I don't do that at all. Other people do that with me. Because you know why? I'm a good person. And I'm really tired of people treating me like shit and being assholes to me. All I'm in is nice and kind, and obviously it's not getting me anywhere. This is the reason why I'm a dick sometimes. Don't give me a reason to be a dick to you. The shit that I post on Facebook, that's got to stop too. Stop commenting on shit when you know nothing about what's going on. If you're going to say something, say it in a positive way, not a negative way. Don't criticize me negative on here or on Facebook. Criticize me in a positive way. Also, um, God, I need a shave. Um, date within your age group, like 40 and 17, that's fucked up. Um, 30 and 19, even though he's legal age, or her, she is, it's fucked up. Um, date within your age group. I know someone's parents that are like 26 years apart. I know someone else's parents. My grandmother and my grandpa were eight years apart. You know, age doesn't matter but to an extent. It's about the maturity. What I'm trying to get at is people are running around, running in their mouths, saying shit about me. It's not true. Yes, I am a sexual person. What guy isn't? But I know how to control myself and sex isn't everything. I worry about a lot. And when I worry, it causes up my anxiety. And the anxiety leads to depression. And the depression leads to anger and all this other crap. So for now, I'm setting 30 minutes apart. If something's really worrying me, and just sit there and worry about it later on in the day. Then, be done and over with it, and let it go. I don't need negative, fake, lying people in my life. I need positive, awesome, honest people in my life. And I need a girl that's like that, too. See, I'm not picky. I go after any girl that's got curves, piercings, tattoos, crazy hair color. But I'm not picky. I don't care. As long as you're sweet and nice, have a great personality, at least decent looking, you know, but looks, I don't know if I'm going to say this, but, you know, looks do matter to an extent, but then again, they don't, because it's about what's inside and the beautiful heart that you have. You know, you shouldn't date someone if you're not willing to, you know, be with that person, then you shouldn't be dating them. But the type of girl I go after is dark hair, brown hair, piercings, tattoos, curves. Kind of got the punk rock scene look going on. But if not, you know, just very natural looking beauty too. One day my dreams will come true. I don't know what the future holds. So I'm looking at the past to change my past into a better future. Everything's taking time. You don't know what the fuck is going on with me. Everybody complains. I'm complaining right now on YouTube, making a video. So, you're just as guilty as I am. You just don't want to see it. And every human being is guilty. Just some are more guilty than others. And 
So what? I'm making YouTube videos. This is what helps me. And I want to make something out of this one day. And eventually get my music started. Right now, I'm just trying to get my priorities in straight, uh, straight first. And that's get my GED. Which I've been... Two years of my life has passed. But anyways. Stop being ignorant. Get to know me. I'm a good person. So... You know, I mean, I'm just saying, I have an eight-year-old little brother. I know what it's like to have kids, kind of, sort of. You know, I can understand why parents are so protective over their their kids. You know, basically, like, you know, why fathers are not wanting girls to date an older guy. I can see why, you know. It's about the maturity, and some of them are just not mature yet. And if I have a daughter, I'm going to be a badass dad. But if I have a daughter, she's not dating an older guy. Well, I mean, maybe it depends on the guy, if I got to know him, but all in all, she's probably not going to date him, because that is my God-given right, you know, child that I gave birth to. I'm not going to influence her with the religion and all this and that. If she turns out gay, then I don't care, except her for who we are. I'm going to let her think for herself. That's how cool of a dad I'm going to be. And even though my little brother gets on a pain in the ass and gets on my nerves, he's my little brother and I love him. I have a fucked up family. Sometimes they're just irrational and don't think straight and they're immature and they argue about everything, but I'm not going to let that get in my way. I'm going to be better than my parents. <laughs> Anyways, don't get married if you're going to argue about stupid shit and have financial problems. You need to get on the same page. Falling in love, I don't know, is out of the question. I'm going to let my past go and you're going to see a new Josh. I'm reading these... uh books and I'm listening to CDs how to control my life my anxiety it's helping out but anyways I'm gonna go fuck a midget so bye